Sources in the Enforcement Directorate have confirmed to India today that authorities in Singapore and Mauritius have already begun a probe into the various bank accounts of the former cricket czar Lalit Modi. And this after both the countries received a letter rogatory from India. Now, according to the ED, these countries have started the process of identifying the bank accounts which could be seized, attached and confiscated as per the provisions of the Prevention of the Money Laundering Act. Our correspondent Virin Singh Gunavat now joins us for more. Virin, first the ED, you know, demanded a red corner notice against Lalit Modi. And now, of course, there is news coming in of uh, both Singapore and Mauritius trying to, you know, identify his bank accounts and the companies and also, you know, uh, planning to seize it. So clearly, troubles are mounting for the former IPL czar. Exactly. The work has begun. The investigation has begun in Singapore and uh, uh, Mauritius. Uh, 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 legal and uh, concern authorities, uh, they are still, uh, it, it, this entire probe is at, it's a very uh, initial phase as of now because they are still uh, start gathering all the details of the bank accounts that Lalit Modi, his family members and the maze of the companies he has in both the countries, they are still gathering all the details and then they'll, they'll share these details to the enforcement directorate in India and and then only enforcement directorate will direct them uh, which um, bank account needs to be seized um, in, in, in there's a suspicious transaction that has been made by Modi. So that will take some time but as of now the, what, the investigation has begun in both the countries and that could lead in a serious trouble for Modi in the coming days. It also goes to show how serious uh, you know the enforcement directorate is uh, to really uh, you know, find the financial irregularities uh, that have been attached to Lalit Modi and how positively and swiftly both Singapore and Mauritius has responded to the Indian government's, uh, uh, you know, demand. As of now, Enforcement Directorate confirms that they are getting positive uh, response from Singapore and Mauritius uh, uh, government. In fact, uh, if you remember uh, when uh, in the case of uh, uh, Hassan, uh, uh, the Masood case where the, the three member uh, special team had gone to Singapore for the uh, 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 attachment process and everything and in, in a limousine cases that time itself the Singapore government had had assured uh, the Indian uh, uh, agency uh, people saying that if once we send the LR the letter of rogatory then we'll start our legal uh, um, uh, uh, legal and the concern uh, investigation and that has begun so uh, overall uh, ED is very positive it's only that the, what they are thinking that once the red corner uh, uh, notice should be issued as soon as possible by the Interpol, that is still awaited. And one and in, and at the same time, they are getting for positive communication from the Singapore and uh, Mauritius authority with all the initial details that is required by ED. So that is very positive from the Indian agency in case of Alice Forty. All right, Firin, thanks so much for joining us and getting us uh, the very latest update on this bit of news coming in.